adults are reading because I'm an adult and I, I'm an avid reader. I read every day. I, I cannot do without my book. But the trouble with us is that we're having trouble managing our reading time. Looking at it from a positive note. Because a lot of people say, because we, the older generation, grew up with the reading culture. Our problem now is the younger generation, our school system that is becoming a, a scheduled, a civil, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, this. Uh, the curriculum, you know, it's got a curriculum to it now, and they're being tested on it, and it's becoming something that's becoming a chore, and that's what we are fighting against. With the regards to the adults, very often what is happening is that finding the time to read and finding the time to prioritize reading, because life is hard. Kenyans, many African countries, we are challenged by the situations we're in, because the infrastructure around our countries, the way our politics works, the way we are governed, the management of our governance is such that it doesn't cater towards making our social situation easier. The infrastructure we create for ourselves. So I'm busy trying to make money. I'm trying to put a roof over the heads of my kids. I'm trying to pay school fees. I'm trying to do all these things that tell me if I read, I'm wasting time, even though I want to read. So it's about changing the mindset of the adult and saying reading is part of that process. When I take time out and read and I de-stress, I am energized to do that work that will give me the money that I need. The same way we have to do with our kids. If I take time to read and learn words, and those words will hit me again and again, I will find them in the exam room. And it will give me the vocabulary and the, 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 the road that I will take to success with regards to my exams. So in, for me, my... My way of seeing it is it's a change of mindset because all these people are here offering you the material. We have tons of it. Every time I leave the festival, I'm working with several books with amazing stories. We have a 12-year-old who's written a fantastic book. So we are not short of stories. We're not short of creativity. We're not short of the substance. What we're short of is the, the courage to take it and say we own it and it's not going to be a problem. We can manage all of the other stuff as well as reading. Get the fear out of the equation, and we will be reading again. And this is addressed to the adults, because the kids we are blocking with our fear. They are not afraid. We are the ones blocking them, because we are telling them, don't read, go study. What's the difference? It's the same thing. You know what I mean? 